a pretty pretty big day for you. What was it like getting a taste of that end zone? Um, I mean, it was it was really amazing because that was my first pick six in um in Division One college ball. So I mean, it it just feels I'm still feeling it to be honest. It feels real good, and we won, so it always feels even better. Noah, go ahead. Yeah, Robert, just take me through kind of, you know, that pick six and then, you know, how are you able to, you know, kind of get down the field and, you know, find the end zone pretty quickly after that? Um, I mean, I think it was about third and nine, third and ten. And um, going into the game plan and stuff, they weren't really going to try to go deep on us. So I kind of anticipated the slant. And whenever he dropped it, I mean, I was just, once I got the ball in my hands, it's, it's just trying to score. It's not really anything else. Jaden, go ahead. So y'all are still giving up multiple explosive plays um, to the opposing offense. And what are you hoping to do in the next couple of weeks? You know, how do you want to clean that up? Um, I mean, it, it all starts with practice. I mean, even even if it's on a Thursday or something, people still have to be locked in. And that's something that we really got to work on because the past years, like even before I was here, that's something that never happened. And, and that's something that we really have to work on and really got to harp on because explosive plays, I mean, that's that's really killing us in our defense. Brian, go ahead. Talking to Coach Doran, he talked about your high football IQ and uh, versatility, being able as a doing in pass coverage and bliss. And how does how does how do you approach that sort of uh, that versatility of your game in terms of uh, how in terms of uh, just being useful? Um, I feel like really just. I mean, obviously God gifted, but watching a whole lot of film and knowing offenses, tendencies and stuff, it, it gives you just a, a little inch in on where you're supposed to be and the angles you could take. So really just just watching a lot of football and really studying the team's tendencies, like that really gives you a little a little bit of an edge. Rob, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I kind of have a two-parter. Uh, you compete, obviously, in practice against the NC State's offense. What is your impressions of that offense? Is it an offense that helps you prepare? And is it an offense that you believe exceed at the uh, – to be successful, move the ball, and help y'all win at this Yes, I, I fully believe in our offense and, and everybody over there. I mean, going, going against them in spring and in the fall with – always battle. I mean, I, I truly believe in our offense and I know what they can be. That's that's why we all believe in that locker room. We all believe about everybody in the offense because we've all seen it and we know what they can do. They just have to show it and be and be consistent. This will be last question for Robert. Noah, go ahead. Hey, bro, you had that the interception in the first quarter and then, you know, had a sack and a half, you know, as the game went on. How much confidence does this kind of game, you know, help moving forward, you know, just just being in your first year, you know, here at NC State? I mean, I, w I would say I'm probably one of the more confident dudes on the team. But I mean, I don't always just say, it. you know, it's it's kind of just like in, in me and stuff. So, I mean, it, it obviously builds confidence. But but to be honest, I I'm um, just a, a more more type of person. So, I mean, all, like obviously one and a half, like why can't that be three? And, and then one pick, why can't it be like two or three? You know, so I just feel like I'm a I'm a more type of person. So it, it could always be more.